All right, we welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. Yeah, you caught me pausing my screen before I was doing this. An interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do See, it's finally well. enough camp for do his so mission well. after I slept and hunted I, all night. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the is day it a is long. Line? Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves <laughs> to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old no, enough. No, Hosea's and old. you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Are you gonna prove I, anything to this dude? Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. Oh. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of If we survive that, Dale. he says. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, Ooh. not mine. But don't kill nobody. Mm -hmm. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. <laughs> Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> he's very insistent upon that fact, isn't he? My God. All right. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's well, I mean, I have. Well, clearly, you've recovered from your bear encounter. Right. No, I think. Could have played that better, right. couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling you about, feel about things, things now? Is, yeah. What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to hmm. trot that one out. People see that. Oh, is that Especially one of his when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Damn. <laughs> Must be getting close. Yeah! That's kind of a nice camera to have. Easy! For like missions and stuff, but I just want to like listen to what's being said. I thought we were closer. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're okay. dealing with. Come on. Yeah, maybe get out from behind the tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just hear him rip ass or was that the horse? Somebody ripped some ass. I know There's it wasn't me. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. No, I didn't smelt it. I heard it. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. 
binoculars. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Mm. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Oh. Uh. Wait. Let's wait. You're gonna wait right there. Like, right there. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Alrighty. I don't know why I felt like doing this at night. Just did. <clears throat> Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Hmm. Shutting so many things. There's more we can get. I know there is. I'm not done here. It's the chimney. Fifty, look at that. <sighs> well, I guess there's nothing up there we can get, so. Get on, dear boy. Yep. Nobody even woke up. Nice. What was that off in the distance? I heard the buffalo. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need mm. to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Oh. No. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. 
I hope well, that's it's not good. stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, mm. here we are. Just pull the coach into the Hopefully. Barn. I mean. All right. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice Peaceful. people. <clears throat> They're quiet. Park that thing in here. I think one of Quickly. them snored. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. What the? Uh... Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Yep. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah. Sure. We have a few debts to give Hosea. Or, like, like yeah. We have all that debt money. Well, now we have this money. This thing's going along nicely. Alright, it's still nighttime too, that's cool. Oh, what time is it? Come on, game. Game, come on. Tell me. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get some stew. Yes. Yes. Man. There's people trying to sleep, Bill. What are you doing? Bill. Oh my on. god. <laughs> it ain't like Bill. Balls anyways. <laughs> Bill, can you calm down oh, with them tongs? Half acre. <laughs> I just ate from that. Oh, my god. What the hell, Bill? Alright, well. I'm gonna have Arthur go to bed here until morning. Because, you know... Why not? Hopefully. I swear to God, Dutch. Alright. Dutch, why are you playing music all goddamn night? Okay, I can't sleep here anymore. Damn you, Dutch. This is why I don't like being around here. Wow. I can't even believe Dutch right now. Yep. Alright. Let's get a move on.
I'm sorry, what? Where's Comb? Where's Comb, buddy? Where's Comb? <laughs> we gotta hold this land for all you boys got. Come on. Sam, help. You need to give me all your money. You don't want to start with me. No, come on. Hurry up. Dumb bastard. You kidding me? Go. You idiot. Oh, Damn old Driscolls. Hey! Yeah. Get out of here. Holy hell. Go. Yeah, don't worry about it. And yes, I figure if the game's gonna give me an enemy type that just it lets me torture them, well, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So what, uh, yeah, if I ever have a spare O'Driscoll or whatever enemy I have, I'm just gonna drag them down the road for a little bit. Oh, now there's a stranger mission here. Let's check it out. A bunch of stuff around here to do, isn't there? I put my savings into booze oh. again. What an idiot. He's in this saloon here. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Who's your friend oh, there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim hmm. Boy Calloway. Noblest of men oh. and a woman. The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? <laughs> I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're yeah. starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your Damn. name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not oh. really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, mm. if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett hmm. Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight. That guy already Black looks like Danny Trejo. Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe no. I just said that. But You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, mm. get photos. Okay. And there are notes oh. on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Huh. Black Phil. back blue water marsh oh no you know what i ain't 
still more for being drunk. Is that a drunk? <laughs> Likely conversationalists proceed with caution. Will you move? Hey! Good morning. That horse looks like a Ferrari. What's this guy? At present, keeper of hogs near Flatiron Lake. Interview refused. Oh! We always have time for the doggo. Hey, buddy. All right. You okay, boy? You know what? This is a great place as any to end the episode. Just petting a dog. If you guys want to see more good boys or any other animal that's just adorable, uh, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. Because uh, animals like these might be in other games. You don't know. Um... don't know what his name is yet, but I'm going to name him. Yeah. Howdy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Red Dead 2. Um, until then, though, have a nice day, everybody. Such a good boy, though. <laughs>